Hello all, and welcome to Day 7 of Contingency Contract Season 7, Pine Suit, and we're returning to the dreaded Arena 8, usually known for its really really difficult risks. So today we're gonna have to do the Joint Training 3 tag, alongside the Stimulus 3 tag, so enemies are gonna be hitting really really hard, a DP 2 tag, and also a Redeployment Time tag as well, and a triple cost for Guards and Medics. So, we're gonna bring 9 operators for today's risk. 15, we're gonna do Blemishine, Weedy, Mudrock, Psylocke, Backpipe, Myrtle, Nightingale, Shamare, and a Borrowed, Skadi, the Corrupting Heart, because I do not have one. Right, so let's begin with the map. So, typically, you have to open with Vanguards in this map most of the time because it's a very, very fast start. And this one is no different with a DP down as well. So we're gonna open with Myrtle. And we're gonna open after Myrtle another standard bearer. This time we're bringing Silock. Silock has a very important role to play over here. Right, apart from the DP generation. Next will be Scotty the Corrupting Heart. Then followed by Backpipe. Backpipe will be holding the lane for the first part of the map. And then we'll have to put out Weedy on the right side. Traditionally, Weedy, Mountain. Uh, common choices for the right side and I've chosen to go with Weedy because I do not possess a mountain and of course Shamari will be there as well to help out with the damage today there's no risk on the trap on the pincer beast on the right side so both physical and arts damage will work very well after that we'll put Nightingale as Weedy is really going down low Nightingale will ensure survival of who we're gonna put later on in the middle so let me shine will be our choice to deal with the middle lane. So she'll be almost dealing with all of the enemies in the middle on her own with a little bit of help from Shamari, hopefully. And at this point we're gonna take out Backpipe and Myrtle. And this is where Mudrock takes over from here on in. Now, Blemishine is picked for the middle lane because she does very very well against the Archer Bro. And then Mudrock will deal with the other one. So those, these two are basically my duo for today. And we're gonna drop the Shamari doll on the Blade Helmet. And then drop the Skadi Seaborn as well. Now the Seaborn is also affected heavily by the redeployment risk. But we're still gonna use it at the right timings anyways. However, Shamara's doll has no such thing, no such caveat since it's actually a skill-based summon. Right, here we go. We're gonna pop that skill and with this, as you can see, the cannon was used to push away that archer because I want... Let me try to focus on this blade helmet. And the blade armor will be dropping dead right now. And not wrong, it's almost finishing the other blade armor on the other side. Right, let me shine again. We'll be popping the skill. At this point, we'll drop backpipe once the hammer bro has gotten in to where he's blocked. And backpipe will basically do a duo on this enemy alongside Mud Rock. And as you can see, the doll actually saves Mudrock from actually getting popped at that point of time. But Mudrock also has the chance to stun, so she can actually do a fairly good survival on that left side, right? So we pop Nightingale's skill, and as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm waiting until the red eyes are glowing before popping Blemish and skill. This is what I'm basically doing on both sides. Right. Except Mudrock is a lot more automatic with her shield actually popping up. And I can actually look at that. The shield is saving her. But I have to really really drop the doll on that left side to make sure that the left side gets killed slightly faster. Because Lemmy Shine will catch up very quickly when the skill is actually up due to the fact that she gets a massive massive attack boost. And at this point, yes, we're gonna pop again. And I actually got lucky that I mistimed the skill a little bit. So that Nightingale skill was still active at that point of time. Now if you time it right, you should never have this kind of dicey movement. 
As you can see, the red eyes again, and we're gonna pop the skill again. This time, we're gonna make sure the left side dies slightly faster. Because Femisha is really gonna catch up, as you can see. The crit numbers are coming in due to the fact that she's sleeping the enemy. And at this point, again, the red eyes, pop the skill. As you can see, they are pretty much on par with each other at this point. Then we drop the doll. Use Lenny Shine once again. But I think I mistimed the skill and Nightingale will pop. But they die almost at the same time. And that's the plan all from the start. So I hope you guys enjoyed this clear. This clear was quite mostly dependent on Lemishine's timing. So Mudrock was pretty much automatic for most part. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this run once again. Good luck for Arena 8. And all the best in your endeavors. I'll see you tomorrow for the next daily. Bye-bye.